how are you? Wednesday, March 8th, and uh, it's one of those days where uh, you really feel like you should uh, stay inside because it's raining. And you might say, well, Santiago is always raining, but it hasn't, actually hasn't been raining a lot this the, the beginning of this year. Uh, we had a lot of rain over the uh, Christmas and New Year's. And then from beginning of January, uh, maybe second week or so, we had beautiful weather. Uh, I talked to people, pilgrims, uh, starting in mid-January and ending up in mid-February uh, in Santiago, and they had a wonderful time because the weather was great. It was 5, 6 degrees in the morning and then went up to about 15, 16 with not a single cloud in the sky for the whole for the whole month almost between like mid January to mid February. Then we had a few day weeks uh, with rain, then we had had a few weeks with nice weather again and now um we're back to this which you could see and this is the weather right now and you could see it's uh, red around Santiago so it's uh, it's going to be um, a few days of rain. And I see they have a webcam thing going also here at the top. You can see Plaza de Platerías, and this is uh, Quintana behind the uh, cathedral. So it's one of those days where it's uh, um, best to stay inside. Although pilgrims are coming in yesterday, although it says this morning 112 pilgrims came. I think this is uh, yesterday's number, about 112. I've seen up to 200 about a week ago. There was a few days with 200 in a row, several days in a row with 200. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a group or just um, maybe some other coincidence. Anyway, but it's uh, it's uh, it's starting to to climb a little bit the numbers. We've had uh, in January we were around 30, 40 a day. Now it's 100. Sometimes it's more than that. So it's uh, you could see it's um, it's moving upward, uh, although not a lot of people are outside today anyway what else is going on uh i know we haven't talked about covid we're not talking about <laughs> covid anymore but i just wanted to let you know what's going on with the mask restrictions in spain uh, last my last video uh, in the beginning of of january there were still uh, requirements to wear masks in uh, public transport that is not not the case anymore uh, it's the recommendation but it's not uh, the law you still have to wear a mask when you go into a pharmacy or any medical office any hospital or any doctor's office you have to wear a mask although that said um, the other day I was since people are not really wearing masks they don't have them with them usually so you need to go to a pharmacy and the other day I had to go to one and I didn't have a mask and I st when I stood in the door and I asked, I don't have a mask, what do I do? And she said, just, just, just come in. So, you know, it's, it's what it is. But if you don't have a mask and you want to go to pharmacy, I would kind of ask for permission before going in without a mask. Anyway, that's what I did and it worked fine. So in other um, cold related, related news, I mean, it's, 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 there was a thing on the TV the other day, yesterday or the day before, on the news, national news, that there's a big cold wave going, and it's been, and you can hear, I have a sniffly nose, uh, because I have a son, six-year-old, he's in school, and he brings everything back, so we've had a few weeks now with the uh, first, he had a fever a week, then he got better, then I got it. Uh, it's not COVID, we tested, um, at least it was a negative test, but... Who knows? I don't think it was because everyone's been testing at school and everyone got it. <coughs> and no one's got positive tests from the COVID tests. Anyway, so then he got better than I got it. And then now he's he complained yesterday with uh, being nauseous and vomiting. So there's a thing going on there. I mean, this is normal for a winter, but it seems like this winter is a bit more than normal. So that's why I've been going to the pharmacy more than normal this this winter anyway hopefully uh, weather's getting better soon and we could get over this I guess it's what happens when you go a few years with uh, mask requirements because remember Spain had I don't know it was was it two years I forgot how long it was but it was a long time we were required to wear a mask outside so we were protected from every other virus for a long time. And now I guess we have to 
it's catching up to us but that's fine um otherwise i wanted to let you know that uh, next week i'm actually looking forward to uh, i'm going to norway they invited me for a conference there's a pilgrims conference in norway in trondheim in uh, uh, they have a yearly conference uh, it's in Norwegian so if uh, if you're in Norway and if you are mm, nearby it would be good to to meet I'll be at the conference I'll maybe do a video from there talking a little bit about the walk up to uh, to Trondheim either from Oslo or from the from Sweden coming in from the east so I've been traveling next week and and looking forward to that now um, I have uh, Iria is back helping me again. I don't. You may have met her if you have used the luggage storage um, for the last few years. She's been helping out during the summer, but since this year it's been quite busy. I asked her if she could come back beginning of March first, so she has uh, started, which is of great help to me because that means the book orders and everything that um, has to do with the luggage storage. She can help me out with that, and it makes me also. Uh, able to go to Norway like the trip I'm doing next week for example otherwise that would have been impossible so anyway I just wanted to let you know that if you ring the doorbell downstairs to pick up luggage or you know it might be you might see Idia uh, and she's been packing a lot of books lately because the other day I started a little bit of a of I have 30% off the wise pilgrim guides this uh, this week uh, so if you're interested in getting some discounts on guidebooks uh, probably this week it's going to be um, available i'll put a link down below if you on the youtube uh, comments in the youtube description so you can click it you, you only get the discount if you click that link and then buy afterwards because that has the discount code in it and if you're watching this video <coughs> later than like mid-march 2023 uh, the sale is probably over but anyway that it's going to be other, other ones later on. Now, just so that you know, the Frances, the red one, the Norte, the blue one, and the Portuguese, the green one, are 2023 editions. These are the new books that came out uh, this uh, January. Uh, the Primitivo, he has not made a new update, so this is the last year's edition, same as the La Plata. It's the uh, last year's edition as well. And if you are thinking about doing the Norte and you think the, the price is still too high, you could go on the site and you can get last year's edition half price off, half off. So actually during the sale, it's half off and after that it's 30%. So that's a pretty good deal if you're interested in that. Some comments that I've gotten on the, uh, on the store is that people think it's uh, too expensive to ship. And I understand that. Shipping has be become very expensive. Just to let you know, I'm not making any money on the shipping. But what they're charging me, I have to kind of charge you. So, uh, so I know it's become uh, more expensive. I think it's become more expensive to travel in general. But, um, but anyway, uh, the shipping prices is, is what it is. And also there's an, something new this year with New Zealand and Australia. I was able to ship with the post office uh, before um, before January. But then January they decided, mm, I used Deutsche Post for my shipping. And the po um, they decided not to ship with the post office to Australia or New Zealand any anymore. Uh, I think it has to do with some negotiations of some terms and some stuff. I don't know. So anyway, New Zealand on Australia, it's DHL Express only, which makes it even more expensive. It makes it more expensive, but it's much faster. Because for those of you that in Australia or New Zealand that order something from my store uh, late December, you might have seen that it took forever to get there. It, sometimes five, six weeks, and that's not so good either with dhl express it's more expensive but it's uh, usually there in five days four or five days so that's good uh what else i wanted to show you um a video i did a little video uh, i walked through santiago this morning to get you an idea what things looks like out on the street this is my street up uh, walk up this is the Camino Frances coming into Santiago. Just enter Old Town behind me and you walk up Casas Reais. Um, now this is Cervantes walking down towards the uh, albergue there, um, the last stamp. And uh, the last stamp was actually closed um, 
some part of the winter but they're open up now as of um, March 1st so they're open for business now as you can see not very busy but it's an option if you are in town and next to it by the way I don't know if you've tried chocolate chocolate con churros but, but that's a, a typical thing that people do uh, have in the in the winter it's hot chocolate but it's hot chocolate so thick that you have to go and almost eat it with a spoon uh, and what you do is you get the churros and then you dip it in and it's good stuff anyway that's a few words from me uh next week i go to norway i'm hoping to make a video probably publish that the week after when i'm back home hope things are good where you are stay safe ciao